This is Matt P. for CUTV's Laugh Out Local. And this is Justin B. for CUTV's Laugh Out Local. Well, it's spring. It's unseasonably warm. And basically all of Quebec students have taken over the city. Kind of. We have 200,000 people protesting the tuition hikes. They're protesting the direction the Charé government is taking with education. There's no one here right now, and we hear they're all at the old port. So we're going to be passing by there later to check out what's going on and cover this uh, massive major history in the making, laugh out local style. So as we can see here, um, the students have reached City Hall. Uh, maybe if they put more money towards the government, they could eventually make it back by getting jobs here or something. That's why they're all standing here. They're in line for interviews. The city's going to need a lot more cleaners now that the strikers have pretty much trashed the whole city. So basically, these students are trying to kill two birds with one stone. Trash the city, then get a job cleaning it up. Smart thinking. That's why they go to university. All right, so Trevor, um, apparently uh, what I've been hearing was uh, with Charest's new movements to uh, privatize and incorporate uh, education in Quebec, uh, new business requirements for applicants. They're going to need to send a headshot as well as their measurements. What do you feel about that? I, you know, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a joke, but I almost believe it. Like this is the kind of stuff that I I come to expect, like from uh, from Charest and the uh, and like the liberal government that's uh, that's in power right now. Like, yeah, no, I, like I don't know. I don't know too much about business. I'm from geography. <laughs> It's officially spring. Things are blooming. But it's not just plants. It's protest plants. So we're here with Travs, Julian. All right, Travs and Julian. So you guys have been out on the protest all day. So what's basically like, why are you here? Because right now the mainstream media, they're kind of harping on how you guys are just complaining because you got to pay more money. But we want to know, is that really just it? Are you guys just complaining about money or is there more to it than that? Well, I did. Uh, I have read a lot about it. There's the uh, university funding plan seems to be just changing the philosophy behind education. I know Quebec's fought for 40 years, especially the Francophone universities. I feel like as an Anglophone university, we couldn't just sit back again. Otherwise, we might as well just get that increase right away. Uh, there's also the whole issue of Quebec and how much they're getting, how much, um, many royalties they're getting from the exploration of the north with the Plan A and how much, compared to other provinces that actually get royalties from their natural resource extract, uh, extraction. Uh, it could go on, <laughs> but I could get uh, super... And uh, what, does, what does this masked man have to say about the protest? Um, well, I, I personally think it's very important because, I mean, more and more we're seeing all around the world, and especially in Canada, uh, the privatization of universities, and uh, I believe that should actually stop and uh, we should go back to a publicly funded university. I think that's the most important thing, free education for all. 
There's a lot of there's a lot of countries out there that uh, that you know people aren't able to have that kind of education, and I think what we're doing, we're fighting for everyone. There you go. So it's not just. We're just not, we're not just fighting like increased tuition. It's really about the role universities play. We want them to be public institutions. We don't want them to be like McDonald's, you know, where the service is shitty and you pay and you get shitty food and you're just, you're just paying to get like a grade at that point, right? <laughs> I mean, you can easily use this wood for a future job in carpentry or house building, you know, with your now useless education that costed you a fortune and the only viable option is building houses because that's basically where you make the most money. All right, so about, about five, six hours into the protest, um, the students are slowly dispersing and heading home uh, where they're gonna eat their ramen noodles and sleep on their futon beds to rest up for their 12 hour shift at Burger King tomorrow. Uh, what we learned today was that it's not only about tuition hikes as uh, mainstream media and the masses seem to be talking about. There's something a little bit deeper about this. It's uh, the students are afraid of corporate control of their education. There's nothing too funny about that. Anyways, for uh, CUTV's Laugh Out Local, I'm Justin Bowman. And this is Matt P. And hopefully we won't have corporations taking over our education system and ending up with functional illiterates like us. We already have enough functional illiterates and they're all at Laugh Out Local. As Justin here, I'm sure can attest to and myself. Peace out. They're going to be protesting the tuition hikes. They're protesting the neoliberalization, neoliberalization, protesting the neoliberalization. There is a militia of militants forming with weapons to start a strike against Share. Well, that sounds violent. So in light of that, do you think Share should eat a dick or eat a bag of dicks?